Burrows are fantastic, and turns out you can do this crazy running thing with the burrows. Sarah told me that she owns Mickey, and I said, can I race with Mickey? Can I race with Mickey? He is a four-year-old burrow from the Bureau of Land Management, so he was a wild boy originally. This is his first year racing. He's a newbie, and since he's very young, um, he's been doing incredibly well. In the first race that I did with him this year, we ran eight miles and I finished fourth female. They do often get misinterpreted as being very stubborn. They're thinkers, not reactors. And so if you scare him, he will often freeze. And so if you give him time and let it be his idea, he'll do anything for you. So pack burrow racing is a summer heritage sport in Colorado. It probably originated from some miners who frequently use burrows to carry all of their gear. I guess from there it's just turned into this endurance event that's really unique and it takes an incredible amount of character and perseverance and sometimes some luck in order to do really well in these races. You, you don't sit on the burrow, uh, you run with the burrow, you, so you hold him. Um, and then you have to sort of go as fast as you can. Well, the last mile was basically down a gully. There was no trail, we had to go over uh, logs, boulders and whatnot. And I'd never done it with him. And he just did amazing. He never stopped, he never stalled. Uh, I would talk him through it and, and he would just follow and it was great. He, he probably weighs 500 pounds, so if he really doesn't want to do it, he's, he's not going to do it. And you kind of have to wait him out. It certainly is really humbling to get passed by a bunch of people because your burrow says no and there's nothing you can do about it in that moment. But sometimes you'll get a whole pack of burrows that say, no, we're, we're just going to graze or we're just going to stand by the stream and you're going to have to give us 15 minutes before we go again. And other times though, they want to, uh, especially at the beginning of races at the start, they can start off like a rocket. And so uh, there are some people who have been forced to run a four or five minute mile with their burrows because you gotta keep up, you gotta hang on. And I would just talk, and we just talked the whole race. And it was like there was sort of an understanding, like, okay, we're doing this together. And it was really Sarah who taught me to, to do that, you know, to really connect with the animal. And it was an amazing experience. So my favorite part about taking care of a burrow is probably the relationship aspect where you get to know their ins and outs, and each one of them has a very distinct, different personality, and uh, just the amazing relationship that you can have with them. Well, you know, it's really nice to work with a big animal. Um, there is a physical exercise. You also must have a great sense of humor. You know, there's, there's lots of hilarious moments. They are tough, enormously tough. They have a lot of grit. Uh, they never give up with things that they want to do because partnering with an animal like a burrow is not the easiest thing in the world while you're running and so it's not all about how good of a runner you are it's how good of a relationship you have with your animal how much they want to work for you and uh, kind of just if you can both grit it out together